Oh my god, what am I even seeing right now? So many hard drives? Bro, where did you steal, I mean, collect these from? I swear, even in the USA, you don't find this many drives lying around unless you robbed a whole data center. And I seriously have no idea what this guy is planning to do today, but from the looks of it, he's definitely trying to pull gold out of these things. And honestly, some of these hard drives probably still work, but nope, our US-inspired genius here doesn't care. No screwdriver, no tools, just a hammer, straight American style. Everything must be smashed. Now look at this, he's ripping out every single circuit from these hard drives. These IC chips? Oh yeah, these tiny guys are full of gold, and that's exactly what he's after. Now he's heating the board, blasting it like a barbecue grill. He must have used enough gas to heat a whole American backyard. ICs are literally flying off the board. And of course, no gloves, no mask, just pure confidence. He thinks he's Superman, the US version. Now look, the IC is out, the board is useless. Actually, it was useless from the start. But hey, this guy used his brain and pulled the gold-bearing chip out. The pins you see? Yeah, there's gold too, but that's not today's topic. Move that aside. We'll talk about it in another video. This dude is working non-stop like a machine, separating everything. Now, what is he doing now? He's literally burning the ICs directly. If any technician from the US sees this, they'll slap him twice for destroying valuable components. But no, he's an expert. He knows exactly where the gold is hiding. He's burning the ICs until they turn into pure ash, full flame mode, like a US barbecue on 4th of July. Still no gloves, still no mask, still no fear. Now he pours water and crushes the ashes with a metal rod. Because inside these ashes are tiny gold wires. And this dirty water? Bro, this looks like New York sewer water. He's washing it again and again, two or three times until the water turns clear. Now comes the dangerous part. He's holding a phone in one hand and pouring nitric acid in the other. Straight US level multitasking. Nitric acid will dissolve copper, iron, silver, everything, but it won't touch gold. Gold is the boss. Honestly, with the way this guy is working, I feel like he's going to meet God before this experiment finishes. Then he adds HF acid, the fast forward button of chemicals. This saves one to two days, but also cuts 10 years of your life. He washes everything again and again, collecting the acid like it's some kind of magic potion. Then fires up the burner again to speed things up. More flames, more smoke, more I don't need a mask, I'm Superman energy. Washes it again, repeats the process until he thinks it's completely clean.
Now, the main moment. He adds mercury. Mercury grabs gold like Americans grab Walmart discounts. Everything else stays behind. He washes it, squeezes it, uses a cloth to separate mercury. Mercury flows out, gold stays inside like a tiny golden ball. And after all this crazy effort, what does he get? A tiny little ball, just one. Either this guy is a genius or the biggest clown in the US experiment world. Time will tell. Now he dissolves the mercury with nitric acid again, burns it, washes it, transfers the remaining gold into a clay bowl so he can melt it. He puts coal around it, heats it up like a mini U.S. backyard furnace, And finally, 
boom, 24 karat pure gold. No mixing, no cheating. It's small, but considering the amount of work, it's still impressive. You tell me, if you were in the USA, how much would this tiny gold piece be worth? Comment below, I really want to know.